Hey everybody, welcome back to I'll Buy the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Euphoria special episode part 2, Jules. Now part two dropped on HBO Max January the 24th. Now I do have a review on Rue's special episode. You can check it out over here. Uh, but today we are talking about Jules and the aftermath of what happened after the train station. Now Jules is played by Hunter Schaefer who actually helped co-write this episode with Sam Levinson. She's also a executive producer for the episode. So just like part one, part two was also filmed during the current pandemic. Within Jules's um, episode we do have a lot of like flashbacks and memories within it. So before I go any further, just like Rue's review, Jules's review is also going to be a spoiler um, review. And so if you haven't seen it, go check it out currently on HBO Max. Come back and let's chit chat about this episode. End of this um, review, I will let you know which episode I do prefer. Now, just like Rue's episode, we are also in a conversation. We are basically having a therapy session. Now, in the case of Rue's episode, that was more of, you know, her and Ollie just kind of having a raw, in-depth kind of meeting, you know, with her sponsor. And in Jules' episode, we are within an actual therapy session. So it is just her and the therapist. The opening sequence was amazing. I don't think I've ever really seen something like that. It's so artistic. It's so stylish. We're basically seeing some of her life just kind of flash before her eyes. Uh, we have a wonderful soundtrack by Lord. I mean, that was just awesome. We do target a lot of different things. One of them would be Jules's mom. I don't really remember within the actual season that we ever really talked about Jules's mom too much. Y'all can correct me down below if we did talk about her, but I just don't remember it. Maybe it was something that was in passing, just like kind of like a quick little remark. But as far as where we get more into who her mom is, which turns out that she's an addict, and there are comparisons between mom, uh, her mom and Rue that she ends up making throughout her session. And also the, the relationship, well the lack of relationship that she has with her mom and the reasons why she doesn't really want anything to do with her. We do get a more vulnerable side of Jules within this episode, uh, more raw. She even talks more about her trans alive and possibility of uh, detransitioning and just what it means to her. For me, being trans is spiritual. You know, it's not religious. It's not like for some congregation. It's for me. It's mine. It belongs to me. Hunter Schaefer really, really brought it within this episode. And you guys, this is her first acting gig. She's already like writing and executive producing. I think she was a model before this, if I'm not mistaken. That guys can, of course, always correct me down below. The special episodes really just took the show to a whole other level. But the writing is some of the best writing I think I've ever seen. And they just target a lot of like the tougher topics and it's done beautifully and it's done and it's handled very well now unlike Rue's episode uh, we do get way more sexual content within this one like a lot more the whole damn show has sexual content in it so if you've never seen the show and that's not really like your cup of tea then this show is really not for you there's a scene that you're gonna recall if you've seen the show uh from season one when Rue is banging on the door with Fez, um, like begging for drugs and you did this to me and you, oh my god, that episode was heartbreaking, heartbreaking. So that happens in this episode as well, but in this case it is Jules knocking on the door uh, for Rue because Rue is collapsed or OD'd in a, a bathroom. Ow! Open the God! Oh, Personally, I do prefer the one from the actual season. I feel like that one was just way more heartbreaking, in my own personal opinion. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! <laughs> you did this to me! You fucking... You did this to me, Beth. You fucking ruined my life! 
Now before I do give you my final overall thoughts of the show and let you know which episode I preferred, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers, hopefully by the summer. Euphoria special episode part two, Jules, was absolutely amazing, just like Rue's episode as well. Unlike Rue's episode, Jules's was more artsy. It had beautiful shots. It had wonderful uh, soundtrack to it. We did have more sexual content so again, just want to pre-warn you guys on that. The final uh, scene was just heartbreaking. But overall, between Rue's episode and Jules's episode, personally, I prefer Rue's, to be honest with you. Even though Jules's is way nicer to look at, um, it is more, like, vibrant and, again, artsy and everything. And it is still a wonderful episode, don't get me wrong. But there's just something about Rue's that I feel felt more of a connection to. It was just more raw, more in debt, more personal than Jules is. I just realized that I still have my glasses on and I didn't take them off. So yeah, I guys just had to deal with the ring like this whole time. No wonder I could see very well. It never occurred to me that I wasn't blind during this review, whatever. It is what it is, you guys. So if you've seen this episode and let me know down below, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Have you watched the show Euphoria before? Are you a fan? If you've seen both Rue and Jules' episode, let me know down below whose do you prefer. But of course, like always, until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!